Ministry of Tourism Director General Ms. Joy Jibberlou recently shared key updates on the state of tourism in the country. In navigating this pandemic and preparing for tourism rebound, our guiding priority has been our commitment to ensuring the health, safety, and well-being of those who visit and live in the Bahamas. Our country currently has in place a streamlined suite of updated protocols that make travel and vacationing in the Bahamas seamless and safe. Through strict enforcement of health and safety protocols under the Bahamas' Clean and Pristine Program, as well as the World Travel Tourism Council's Safe Travels Program, we have managed to curb the spread of COVID and keep the number of cases relatively low. The last few months have seen the first phase of the rollout of our local vaccination campaign. We have eased our entry protocols for travelers who've been fully vaccinated, eliminating the need for a PCR COVID test requirement upon entry or follow-up testing during their stay. With cruises accounting for over 70% of our destination's visitor arrivals, it is with great excitement that we welcome the news of the return of cruises to our islands. Crystal Cruises and Royal Caribbean announced their return to the Bahamas this summer. There is some very encouraging news coming out of the Out Islands. Room nights sold and room revenue are now expected to reach the 60% mark compared to 2019. The weddings and honeymoons market remain one of our priority vertical markets. In Abaco, approximately 80% of the island's pre-Dorian hotel inventory is now open for business. We will continue to make excellence and visitor satisfaction our goal as we work through the challenges of recovering our tourism business that was only temporarily lost to the pandemic. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rissé Demerit and this is Tourism Today.